What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in uh, like roughly a week we're gonna get to TBC Classic and with that there's been a lot of questions coming from you guys asking me about different questions and lately a lot of people have been asking me how they can make gold in the pre-patch in order to be prepared when TBC Classic hits. So that's what this video is going to be about and if you guys want more gold farm specifically for Classic TBC I made uh, a complete gold guide for Classic TBC. It's nearly 100 pages long and it's going to work similar to my uh, 0 to 10 million gold guide where I'm going to constantly update the book. So if you purchase the book, you will get every single update that I do to the book for free. So you guys can get it for 50% off to celebrate the release of TBC by using code TBC. So check it out in the link down below in the description and also pinned comments. So this method right here, very, very simple. You buy shit and you throw it up on the auction house. That's pretty much it. Because right now there's so many people coming back to Classic wanting to prep their tunes for a TBC. And with that, a lot like one of the most popular things to do right now, besides gearing and leveling your tunes, is uh, leveling your professions. Specifically, uh, leveling up the new profession, Jewel Crafting. So you definitely want to take advantage of that by getting a lot of the designs to put up on the auction house. Designs that are extremely easy to obtain, but people are, number one, they're lazy. Never underestimate how lazy people are. Rather than the flying, uh, using the flight path for 20 minutes, people will rather spend 50 gold buying a design on the auction house. That's how lazy people are. And also people, they don't they don't know where they could get like certain designs. So it's easier to just buy them off the auction house. So I'm going to show you guys an example of one that I've been uh, doing really well with. And it's from uh, Mishta in the Salatus right here, a neutral vendor. And she sells this bad boy right here, the Emerald Crown of Destruction. So when you buy this one, it's not like a five hour long cooldown. Uh, it spawns relatively fast again. Like I was, uh, I purchased this one and I went and I threw it up in the auction house and it was it sold within like five minutes. And then I went back and it was already up again. So it's only like a couple of minutes respawn before you can buy it again on this one. And I'm going to show you guys the sale in the mailbox. So bought for one gold. Sold for, well, 26 gold and 91 silver. And that's just with one design. So there's a lot of gold to be made right here. And a cool thing is that Wowhead, TBC Wowhead rather, they have this complete overview. They have something called the, the Jewel Crafting Recipe Location, the 1 to 300 and Burning Crusade Classic. So it's a complete leveling guide, but it also has this section right here, like Alliance Jewel Crafting Design Vendor. So you can head over to these guys at these locations and you can purchase these designs. Same thing if you play a horde, and then you also have these neutral ones right here. And some of these are extremely good, so they definitely sell. And then you just like run around and you buy these from a vendor and you throw it up on the auction house. It's a very known tactic. I mean, I've been doing it on retail. I've also been doing uh, this with all the other professions on Classic, just visiting random vendors and buying like the plants and the patterns and all of that and bumping it up on the auction house for uh, like 20 times what I bought it for and it makes a lot of gold. So hopefully this will help you make some gold before uh, TBC Classic arrives. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. So if you want me to make more videos like this one, then just make sure you like the video. It gives me a good indication that you guys want to see more of this video and it greatly helps out me and my channel. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I will see you all back in on tomorrow's video. Until then, bye bye.